and keep that vibe from the side down. You are there, ladies and gents. How's it going? I'm out on the drive again, as you can see, and it's a beautiful day for it. I thought today I'll talk a little bit more about these wonderful little rear sets I've got and some of the teething issues I'm having on getting them set up for me. Now, they are wonderful and they do exactly what I want them to do. Move my foot pegs back and up. But, one of the things they don't do for me is allow me to get the lever adjustment that I want from them, which is a little bit frustrating. I mean, it's not the end of the world and I can overcome it and that's something I'm going to work on to try and improve. I'm going to try and get the camera angle in a bit to kind of show you what I mean, or at least on one side. And I hope that will explain things a little bit better because you'll actually be able to see what I'm talking about. What a beautiful day though, eh? What a beautiful day. Bikes and sunshine. Fantasticals. Haha. <laughs> Now this is a bit of a bumpy road, so I don't know how well this is going to work. The camera doesn't like being shaken around too much. And uh, because of where I've got it, I've got to keep tucked in to the left-hand side of the road. Which makes it slightly more bumpy. So, as you can see on the foot peg position, providing the camera is working that is, that as a foot peg position, I'm absolutely dandy for that. Gives me a nice little tuck for my knees and means that I can move around on the saddle quite nicely, quite well indeed, and I really like that. Um, but what it doesn't mean I can do is get to the rear brake pedal very well. Because I've got a bit of a duff ankle, if I want to uh, use the rear brake very much, which I've kind of learned to adjust to not use so much anymore, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I just can't get down to that angle particularly well. And uh, because of the way the foot peg is made, you can't raise the lever up any higher than it is already raised. So, uh, yeah, for me, that was just, well, just a little bit awkward. Now, because I've managed to get the Insta361X out with me today, I thought I'd try a new camera angle. I've been meaning to try this one for a little while. I don't know how well it'll work. I don't even know if the camera will like it, because obviously it's going to be quite a bumpy situation there. But what do you think? Does it work? Does it look stupid? Or am I smashing the shit out of my camera with the suspension compressing? <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out on the editing floor. <laughs> so those of you that saw one of my recent videos about my grandma sadly passing, I do thank you. I thank you very much for all the kind words that you mentioned in the comments there. I didn't respond to any of the comments um, and that wasn't to be rude. It's not because I don't appreciate them. I just, uh, yeah, um, it was a little bit sore at the time. So I, I was in two minds whether to post the video or not. But I do think that the message I got across on that was quite an important one. Anyways, um, yes. We have to keep our chins up and remain positive. So providing this camera doesn't die and doesn't ground out, this could be quite a funky little angle, I think. Kind of interesting to test it here, with the road being quite so bumpy. Interesting to see how well that flow state stabilisation, that insta-rave about, can deal with hard hitting bumps. I know I'm combining two sort of different types of flavour of vlog here. One talking about the mod that I did to the foot pegs, or the mod of fitting these foot pegs, and the other one trying to show off camera angles and stuff. Wow, it's a long way from Kansas. <laughs> hope his battery don't run out. <laughs> so yeah, the plan, the plan with the foot pegs that is, is to just drop the foot pegs down a notch, um, which isn't exactly how I wanted it, but it's what it is, it's what it is. It's all cool. And uh, yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to uh, see how that works out. I'm hoping it will. Either way, that will have the foot pegs a lot higher than standard. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. Right, we are almost at the hill, the hill of joy. I believe there will be one more camera change. For a little, burying it up, bury action. So, Berry Hill, 
Oh, I'm in you. It's good play. No knee, de no knee down action today. Not in the right kit for it. But still, what a wonderful little hill. What a wonderful little hill in dee 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 dee. And here we have it, Top of Berry Hill, my wonderful favourite place ever here. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. It'd be great to have you come back for some more. And if you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a little thumbs down. That's all cool. It's all cool for school. Whatever you do, please drop in a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you've got these foot pegs. Maybe you've got a solution that I haven't thought of yet. And uh, yes. Maybe you're just an awesome person. So whatever, please drop in a comment. Hello, White Ways Cafe. I'm not stopping with you today. Oh, something's wrong. Something's amiss. That doesn't look right. Reversing on a roundabout. Perfect science, that is. Utter science. Good to see you've got a banksman there, mate. Good to see you've got a banksman. Health and safety. You drivers, you stay professional now. <laughs> anyway, I was distracted. I was distracted by a big fat water tanker. Crazies. Anyways, you ride safe. Take care. And I shall catch you all in the next one. The bye for now. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bye. Rubber side down. Hey, no,